Ah, spaghetti night. That's right. I just want to make my baby happy. Ah, oh, that's sweet, Flex. <laughs> Makes me feel a little uncomfortable, but thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's father daughter night, not father dummy night. <laughs> what you want anyway? For it to be father dummy night. <laughs> Actually, man, I just came by to say that making me take on Arnez as a roommate was a, it was a good idea. I like being a mentor to the young boy. Oh, cool. Where's Arnez now? I was changing the oil in my car. <laughs> oh. Actually, that's later. Right now, he's, uh, oh, he's leveling the lifts in my shoes. <laughs> Haven't you noticed I've been walking in circles lately? Man, well, circle your butt back on over there and finish watching him, man. I don't want him kissing my daughter again. I don't want him touching her. I don't even want him looking at her again. This isn't the calm, enlightened zen daddy you told Brianna you were gonna be. Well, that was zen. This is now. <laughs> Before I saw her tongue wrestling Arnez on the roof. Now I got no choice. See, I got to be cool daddy to her face and sneaky daddy behind her back. That's it. A double agent. Double daddy. What's <laughs> with you, Flex? Every day is a new daddy. It's like living with my mama all over again. Sometimes in the start, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. When there's nobody around uh, oh yeah. I'll be there to think and then What do you love when you're gone? Maybe you get Maybe one on one One on one uh, yeah. Can't nobody break this bond Maybe yeah. one on one We can one on one for just because Now we haven't found One on one yeah. One on one Brianna, are you sure you want to tell your dad that you and Arnez are dating? Yes. Ever since I got back from New York, my dad and I agreed to be honest with each other, and this is the first step. Yeah, and you're here because I feel safer with as many witnesses as possible. <laughs> no, I'm here because movies cost money and this drama is free, okay? Hey, Brianna, I sent you out for chips and you brought home the dips. <laughs> Daddy? Arnez and I have something to say. He's on you, boo. Wait, hold on. Okay, I'm good, y'all go. <clears throat> well, Mr. Washington? Well, that would be a good place to hide a body. <laughs> Brianna and I feel very strongly about being open. Gosh, she looks so good right now. She better be worth all this. <laughs> oh, really? A really, really deep well. Yes, sir. We want to make sure that you are all right with us dating. Dating who? Uh, 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 dating whom would be the correct use of. What a dork. What a dork. What a dork. It's hard being the smartest one in the room. Daddy, Arnez and I want to make sure you're okay with us dating each other. Why well, wouldn't I be okay with you two dating? Because you're an overprotective... Ill-tempered lunatic. Maybe the old Flex was an overprotective, ill-tempered lunatic. But the new Flex has... Glass balls! Yeah! The new Flex is cool. Yeah, I'm cool with y'all, Dave. I appreciate you being open with me. <laughs> if only this was his face! <laughs> okay, well, that was good. Bye. Be a man. Don't run till you get to the hallway. Oh, thanks, Daddy. I think this whole being open and honest thing is really gonna work out. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna go across the hall to be with my man. <laughs> Did you lick your fingers and stick them back in the bag? Well, I didn't want to just stick them back in dirty. Dwayne, did you see that underhanded move? I mean, what teenagers are honest with their parents? They think I'm gonna ease up on them. Fools. They're gonna regret the day that they were ever honest with me. Ain't that right, Dwayne? Nobody knows. <laughs> hey, don't you see? I mean, they're just like her mother and me. Two teenagers driven by lust. I mean, we spent our prime night in the maternity ward. The pediatrician signed my yearbook. <laughs> I'm not gonna let that happen to them. Well, it's your own fault for having such a hot daughter. What'd you say? <laughs> Is he reading my thoughts? <laughs> Hey, man, you seen Brianna and Arnez? No. Weren't you following them in your car? Yeah, I was, until I accidentally hit a bike messenger. Was he hurt? No, but he sure took his time getting up. 
Anyway, man, I lost them. They could be anywhere doing anything. Her mother and I, we did everything, and we did it everywhere. All right, Flex, you need what I got. What, hands like a hobbit? <laughs> no, I'm talking about a locator chip. I put one in Candy's car. Right now, I am watching her every move as we speak. Man, that is so sneaky, so underhanded, so deceitful. Can I get one? <laughs> no, Flex, I mean... I only have a few left over from Big Sal's, and I already got a couple guys who are gonna pay me good money for them. Uh, come on, Dwayne. This is Flex, your childhood friend, your best friend. And if you don't hook me up with one, the last friend to see you alive. All right, you, you talked me into it. <laughs> uh, and since you're my boy, I'm gonna hook you up with a good price. My man. Yeah. $1,200. What? $1,200? I thought you said you were gonna give me a good price. Man, that is a good price. For me. <laughs> and remember, I am unemployed and housing your daughter's future baby's daddy. <laughs> Man, I give you 20 bucks. Sold. <laughs> Can I have it now? Dwayne, I live across the hall. It won't take you that long. Hey, look. <laughs> Fine. All right, look. Here's $10 and, and a chiclet. Oh. <laughs> now show me how this thing works. All right. After I install it, which is an additional $1,180. <laughs> Fine. We'll talk money later. <laughs> oh, look, look. Check it out. See, with this GPS software, you can track her anywhere in the country. Well, for instance, right now, Candy's signal is slowing down and stopping at 5771 Ryan Street. Huh. What losers you gonna see now? <laughs> Wayne, mm -hmm. that's this building. Oh, my God! I'm the loser! Flex, no, you gotta go now. Come on, you gotta go. Hey, what about my locator chip, man? You gotta install it for man, me. Man, no time. I gotta get gussied up. Probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Come on, man. 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 A lie is still a lie, no matter what the reason. I can't be with a man I don't trust, unless he's really, really good looking. <laughs> Baby, I was just so worried that you wouldn't want to be with me if I didn't have a job. I couldn't provide for you like a man. First of all, I can provide for myself. And second, where do you get off thinking I was with you because you had a paycheck? Like I'm some kind of gold digger. But Baby, I never said that you were a gold digger. Hmm. Although that's what I heard. What? <laughs> then why would I have been dating you? Well, no one said you were good at it. <laughs> Please take me back. Oh, the whining, the crying, the begging. I mean, I admit, I do miss our foreplay. The way you used to make that buzzing sound like a bumblebee. <laughs> Ooh, but I gotta move. Oh, Candy, please, baby. Look, I promise, I will never lie again. Dwayne, how do I know you mean it? But look, I promise. If I ever do get another job, I will tell you the minute I get fired. <laughs> Well, it'll mean us starting all over again. Ah, uh, whatever, my sweetness. Right. <laughs> Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Isn't this great? Yeah, well, I have been practicing on my pillow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I'm so glad we told your dad. I, mean, I just feel so free. It's great not having to sneak around and look over our shoulders anymore. Well, my dad trusts me now. He finally realizes that I'm not a little girl anymore. Yeah, I realized that a long time ago. <laughs> what kind of an idiot pulls into the drive-in with his high beams on? Hey, let the light shine on our love. We don't need to hide from anyone. Come on, let's give him a show. <laughs> Recognized your car? <laughs> what a quinky thing. <laughs>
Excuse me, my job is percolating. <laughs> Take your time. How did he know we were here? I don't know, but I think you better get your hand off my thigh. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. Can you believe I ran into my daughter at a drive-in? I mean, what are the chances of that? I would think very unlikely since we were going to dinner at Cafe Pierre. Come on, baby. Look. Look, I know it's just a drive-in. But you make me feel so young. Don't you want to act like we were 18 again and hop in the back seat? Aw, Flex, I can't be mad at you. You're fun and you're on TV. <laughs> Flat top. <laughs> No, no, it, it, it's flat out, but it, that's, that's okay, baby. It, it's going to back. Wasn't this backseat thing a good idea, Java? I'm glad I thought of it. Oh, I'm so sorry about the clutter back there. I didn't know my dad and I were going on a double date, <laughs> ever. <laughs> Me either, and that's what I get for dating a B-list celebrity. Oh, please, like, somebody's gonna believe you America's Next Top Model. <laughs> Look, Daddy, don't you want to take Java back to your car so you two can have a date like normal people? What's not normal about this? I mean, it's just a father and a daughter out on a date with other people in a car. I mean, we're just going with the flow. Who knows where the rest of the night might take us? I can tell you where it's not taking us, and I am a top model. Oh. Arnez, are you hungry? No, I ate earlier. Ow. I mean, I, I can eat. We're gonna go get some snacks. You two want something? Oh, no, 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 no. You don't have to get no snacks. I got you. I got you. I stopped at the 99 cent store. Yeah. I picked up some licorice. Well, well, it says liquor Richie, but it tastes the same for half the price. What's that beeping noise? With any luck, a truck is backing over us. No, I hear it too. Beep, beep, beep. No, that's me. Yeah, I'm working on this new thing for the show. You know, I can't live off flat app forever. Beep, beep. Doot, doot. <laughs> well, I gotta work out the kinks. Anyway, turn up the sound. The movie's getting ready to start. Oh, what'd you say, Java? You can't see over Arnaz's head, and, and you want to switch seats with him. Oh, no, Arnaz wouldn't have a problem with that. <laughs> Arnett, come on, sit back here with me. <laughs> oh, hello, Flex. Hey, I'm making breakfast for candy, and I need to borrow a few things. What do you need to borrow? Breakfast. <laughs> Take what you want, man. I owe you. You know, this tracking device works like a charm. Of course, Brianna's mad at me for crashing her date, and uh, I'm sure I'll be living with you when I'm old and sick, but... uh. <laughs> My baby girl's not pregnant. I feel proud. <laughs> I don't know why you're so worried about her, man. I mean, you raised your daughter better than that. And I'm sure she has a good excuse for why she's at the Green Door Motel. <laughs> oh, my God. The Green Door Motel? Dwayne, Nicole and I used to go there. That's where Brianna was conceived. And now she's going to take our nest there? Don't you see, man? It's the circle of life. <laughs> I got to find my baby before she makes a baby. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, good luck with that. Oh, no, 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 man, you gotta come with me. I need somebody to hold on there while I beat him down. <laughs> well, here's Brianna's car. It gotta be in one of these rooms. Matt, Flex, Matt, this isn't right. We're acting like the Vice Squad. Dwayne, as God is my witness, Brianna's not gonna make the same mistake I did. Now get to Vice and listen at one of these doors and see if you hear him. <laughs> nothing, nothing. 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 Just the sound of a bit squeaking and somebody getting spanked. <laughs> Get your freak on! I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him, Dwayne. I'm gonna kill him dead. Get kick this door down. Man, she's not my daughter. Hey, your shoes untied. Thank you, man. <laughs> you dislocated my shoulder. It must it always be about you. Get out of the way. <laughs> Leilani? This is worse than I thought. You should be ashamed of yourself. Is Spirit in there, too? My daughter? Well, if she were, what would be the point of me and Cooper being here? Cooper's in there? Of course he is. 
Although for the next hour, he's the last samurai and I'm a still a geisha girl. <laughs> Well, the tea's getting cold, so sayonara. Hey, what kind of sick wasabi madness is going on around here? Now, that's Brianna's car. Tell her to get out here right now. You think Brianna's here? What kind of world do you live in, man? <laughs> she was nice enough to lend her car to us because she knew our van had been in the shop all week. Well, all year. <laughs> Once again, you cannot seem to keep track of your own daughter. Uh, oh, well, it's... Come on back in there, hidden dragon. Gladly. Cooper, you can turn the camera back on, Daddy. <laughs> oh, Suki, Suki, you too. I got to go. Yeah, my mom said your father's face was like crazed. Yeah, it serves him right for putting that locator in my car and trying to spy on me. Oh, I can't wait until I bust him out. <laughs> Wait, so your parents go to that motel every week? Yeah, where else are they gonna watch HBO? Oh, my God. <laughs> Ooh, that's him. Look busy. <laughs> What's wrong with you? What? This all I know. My mama made me go to circus camp one summer. <laughs> Finally, you found something to do that goes with your clothes. <laughs> hey, go on home, sweetie. Hey. Hey, baby. Have a seat, Daddy, oh. so we can spend a little father-daughter quality time together. Mmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> I love father-daughter quality time. Yeah, so do I. You know, it gives us a chance to share our days. Yes. You go first. Okay. So, um, you want to share with me how you ran into Spirit's mom today? <laughs> What's the matter, Daddy? Are you choking on your lines? That beeping we heard at the drive-in was from that locator chip you put in my car. Next time you want to violate my civil rights, I suggest you use new batteries. That thing takes batteries? That beeping, Dwayne. Hey, you set me up. How could you do that? How could I? How could you be so sneaky, so deceitful, so wrong? I'm a parent. It's my civil right. But you were the one trying to throw me off by being honest. We're dating. We just wanted to be honest with you. Do me a favor. Don't ever be honest with me again. Well, I know I just say that. Daddy, why can't you just trust me? I mean, I'm not a little girl anymore. I'm almost 18 years old. Ah, yes, 18. The evil age. <laughs> the age of deceit. It's when the dumb gene kicks in. I know, that's how I ended up with you. Oh, yeah, that's real nice. I didn't mean it the way it sounded. Sweetie, I love you. You are the best thing that's ever happened to me. But, but it was really hard for me. And I don't want that for you. I don't want you to end up doing something that you're not ready for. Daddy, that's all I've been hearing from you and Mom since I got into high school. I get it. I'm not going to end up like you two. Can't you just trust the girl that you raised? Just please give me a chance to be me. Could you be you without Arnez? Daddy. <laughs> All right, I just had to give it a shot, throw it out there. All right, I promise. No more spying. Okay. <laughs> Mwah. I wonder if that means I should take the wiretap off her phone. <laughs> So much fun, Dwayne. And to think, the only reason why I came by the other day was to tell you to stop sending me those annoying letters. Yeah, I put a lot of time into writing those letters. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you know how hard it is to find words that rhyme with please, knees, squeeze, uh, stop. disease? Baby, stop. I read the letters. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, I'm looking forward to our fresh time. Uh, as am I. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and every relationship begins with a little mystery. Oh. <laughs> little surprise. Oh. <laughs> 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 I put a locating device in your car because I was jealous and wanted to keep tabs on you. Surprise! <laughs> You've been following me? No, but keeping an eye on you for safety reasons. Oh, and when you go to the drugstore, don't park at Blockbuster, they always tell. You disturbed little man. You just don't get it, do you? I'll never trust you again. Goodbye, Dwayne. What? 
get candy. No, candy. Baby, candy. Man, I can't believe I lost her again. Dear Candy, I'm down on my knees. Come back to me, please, or else I'll sneeze. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's coming back. <laughs> hey, Brad, I think you missed a spot. Oh, yeah, you're right, I see it. Hey, Spirit, I'm dusty. No, you're musty. There's a difference. Where's Charlie with our food? I'm starving. Oh, goody, Charlie's coming. Just what this apartment needs. More trash. Hi, everybody. Hi, Brianna. Charlie have a shiny key to your apartment? Well, she sets up the equipment and she's not in school like we are. Butter's not in school? Yeah, I'm in the school of life. Sometimes my classes run a little late. So let's see. Yes. Hey, we need some glasses for the soda. Uh, too bad they're all dirty. Uh, we can wait. Yeah. Would you wash a few for us, babe? Brianna, you're not really gonna wash their glasses, are you? Nah, <laughs> but I'm about to make them lemony fresh. Sometimes in this life, you can feel all by yourself. But I have a partner, but I can't trust no one else. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. I'll be there to think and then, why don't you love where you go? Maybe one, no, one, one, no. after my potato digs calendar. What's so important? <laughs> well, I wanted to tell you about something that happened out of the shop today, but with mechanic, client, confidentiality, I don't know if I should. And you wonder why the neighborhood kids throw dirt rocks at you. <laughs> I'm out of here. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I gotta tell somebody. <laughs> New edition came down to the shop today. <laughs> New edition? Oh my God, I used to make out with my pillow to popcorn love. Oh my God, I did not just say that. <laughs> They're in town for a concert, and they want me to trick out one of their Hummers for their next video. <laughs> man, I can't wait to tell Flex, man. He loves New Edition. But back in high school, he was in a New Edition tribute band all by himself. <laughs> I mean, he attached four mannequins to a stick and made them all dance. <laughs> it didn't really work. Don't bring it up. Ah, uh, Flex, have I got some news for you. I know that's really interesting, but my news is about me. Man, I just ran into Natalie. She's married and pregnant. Your ex fiance Natalie? Uh, pregnant? Wait a second, I thought you guys broke up because she didn't want to have a baby. Yeah, we did. I guess she changed her mind. Eh, just like a woman. Wow, and her being pregnant doesn't bother you? Well, now that you mention it, she did look a little puffy. I didn't stand close enough to her to make people think I was with her. Flex, come on, we're your friends. The rejection that you're feeling must be devastating. Yeah, come on, man. It's not that she didn't want to have a baby. She didn't want to have a baby with you. <laughs> The sky's the limit. You think he knows there's a limit to his talent. <laughs> oh, look. Mikey makes a little noise. It's like a tambourine. <laughs> oh, well, you know what happens to tambourines? <laughs> they get shaken. <laughs> hey, Alice. Huh? I need your big, strong muscles to move this hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's time to start shaking. Okay. Yeah, you promised Arnaz you'd chill out on the whole jealousy thing. But that was irrational jealousy before. Now it's rational. She has the key to his apartment, where he lives, where he showers, where he takes his 
shirt off. Girl, he takes his shirt off everywhere. Yeah. The guy's always walking around naked. At least I wear a sarong. And maybe later, I could show you what's so right about my so wrong. <laughs> Girl, listen, before you go all OJ on them, I got a better plan. Hey, Ernest. You know, I couldn't help but notice that Charlie has a key to your place and Brianna doesn't. I mean, isn't that a little weird? Well, what's weird about it? Brianna's your girl and she doesn't have a key. Oh, Brianna wants a key. Why didn't you just say something, boo? Well, I guess I never really thought about it, but sure, I'll take a key. That way, if you get locked out, you can call me. Yeah, or Charlie. Just give me the key, boy. <laughs> Dwayne, why are you so bundled up? It's not that cold outside. Well, it's not for the cold. It's for those dirt rock heathens. <laughs> that little Jimmy can throw a curveball. <laughs> Look, I was just about to check on Flex. Do you think he's okay? Uh, you know what? I'm sure he's fine. I mean, he probably went out on a date last night with a little fresh apple. <laughs> And came home and went to bed with a smile on his face. Um, I don't think so, Dwayne. No, that's that's what he did. <laughs> See, I watched him leave last night with my binoculars. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm gonna go check on Flex. He has to get past Natalie. If he doesn't, we'll never have a healthy relationship. I, I mean, he'll never have a healthy relationship with me. I mean, anyone. You know what? Just move. <laughs> yeah, baby, Flex lives over here. I'm telling you, he's fine. Excuse me. I have $80,000 in school loans and three degrees on the wall that say you're wrong. <laughs> well, I have 280 hours of Dr. Phil and an autographed Oprah Winfrey mug that says you're wrong. <gasps> oh, my God, I was right. Flex, don't do it. <laughs> oh, don't worry, I'm not going to eat the whole pie. Although I could, because I look like this, and uh, not like that. I told you I was right. And this keeps me warm in the winter. Flex, just sit down. We want to talk to you about Natalie. Yes, she wants to talk to you about Natalie. We want to talk to the pizza. Flex, your ex fiance told you that she didn't want to have children. And then the next time you see her, she's pregnant. What does that tell you? That the diaphragm I found in my medicine cabinet must have been hers? <laughs> Flex, but as I understand it, this was the most important relationship of your life since Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the little man over there. <laughs> Flex, I know you think I'm pushing you kind of hard, but aren't you feeling betrayed? Mm, a little bit. A little bit? Flex, you loved her. Yeah, I loved her a lot. I, I loved her enough to want to have a baby with her. Go on. But she didn't want to have my baby. She wanted somebody else's baby. You know what? You, you're right. I feel humiliated. Yes, Flex, yes! Yeah, dog, you got your face cracked. <laughs> oh, man. You, know, you think you're cool with something, and then you realize that you're not. It's like I was hiding something, and then you guys uncovered it. Doesn't it feel better to get it all out? You know what? I do feel better. I feel cleansed, man. I've talked about Natalie, and I've dealt with her pregnancy. I'm over it. You'll never hear me mention Natalie or her baby again. <laughs> Who's up for a movie? Uh, Flex, what are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? <laughs> uh, I'm eating ice cream, because ice cream will always be good to you. Ice cream will never betray you. Uh, Flex, did you go to work today? How can I go to work when Natalie's walking around with another man's baby? <laughs> but it's your show, Flex. What about Ronya, man? She'll take over. Uh, she can have it. <laughs> Women always get what they want. Let's face it, man. It's their world. They can string you along, accept your big, fat engagement ring, uh, tell you they don't want to have a baby, break up with you, and then show up pregnant. <laughs> What's that, Natalie? <laughs> you want some ice cream? Oh, well, there it is. There's some ice cream! <laughs> that looks good. May I have some? With you, please! <laughs> oh, come on, man! Pull yourself 
together. You're licking the picture. <laughs> oh, Lord, I'm a man. So, Natalie, I wasn't good enough to be your baby's daddy, huh? <laughs> I make pretty babies. Look at Brianna. Sassy, but pretty. <laughs> what have you done, woman? Uh, well, I have just never seen anyone break down like this before. It's not like Natalie's that cute anyway. But thanks to you, my boy's a mess, and I have to fix him. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Stuff him full of hot wings and make him watch BET on cut? <laughs> And after that, I'm going to implement my plan. <laughs> give, give up your photo, dog. Come, come on, on, no, come, come on, on, come on, on man, no. Ooh, look, look, a donut. Ooh, ooh. Okay. okay, to raise money for this year's trip, I propose, besides car washes and bake sales, we do personal appearances. Why send a card when you can send a chair? Push them back, push them back, way back. Happy anniversary! <laughs> This is bad. Brianna, what's going on? Hey, baby, we're just having a cheerleader meeting. I thought it would be more fun to meet here than in the gym. Oh, hey, a cheerleader meeting. <laughs> I guess it's more important than that music. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just wait one minute. Just call us when you get your house in order. Brianna, what just happened here? She seems a little unstable to me. <laughs> if I was dog, I'd mark you back. <laughs> All right, guys, where were we? C R A Z Y. Charlie ain't got no alibi. She crazy. What? What? She crazy. What? What? She crazy. What? What? She crazy. All right, keep them close. Now, now on the count of three, you can let your hands down. Ready? One, two, three. Say something. <laughs> I'm talking about baby. This video shoot is gonna be incredible, yo. And the one thing, you better make that flight tomorrow night. Right. I mean, we should have never let him go judge that Miss Watts California beauty contest, man. Man, somebody had to do it, Rob. Wasn't gonna be me, though, man. I bet. Hey. Yo, A disco ball? <laughs> man, you were serious, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, fellas. You know what? I, I tried to go the extra mile, and my boys worked overtime. Check this out. Check this out. <laughs> See these rims? Man, you can't get those in the United States. <laughs> and the disco ball? Handmade, look at it. Fingers, working all night on it. <laughs> so what's up, do we owe you any extra money or what? Oh, no, no, I can't take your money, man. Y'all new addition. All right, man, huh? cool. All right, all right, wait, 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 wait. However, uh, would you like to grant a wish? A death wish? It's so nice to have the key to my man's apartment. It'd be nice to have a man. <laughs> Hey guys! Hey, I think something's wrong with my key. Oh, really? Let me try mine. Ah! Oh, look! My new key works perfectly. No, but this whole idea of a concert to cheer me up was a waste of time. I'm going home to eat ice cream with Natalie's picture. No, no, wait, 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 Flex. Now, what if we told you you weren't here to see a concert, you were here to be a concert? <laughs> Tonight, you're going to dance up on stage with New Edition. Don't mess with me, Dwayne. You don't tease about New Edition, bro. <laughs> no, 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 we're not messing with you, Flex. Dwayne set it up. I, I'm going to perform with New Edition? Tonight? Here? Looking like this? Yeah, look like death warmed over. <laughs> well, I, actually, that's a good thing. See, the only reason they agreed is because I told them you were dying. Dying? And you lied to the MD? No, Flex, I mean, I mean, we're all dying. <laughs> now, I don't know, man. That's the sneakiest, dirtiest, most underhanded thing you have ever oh, done. Oh, they're I here, they're here. Oh, 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 should I spit a blood? Because I can bite my tongue. Do it. <laughs> hey, Dwayne, where's your man Flex? Oh, uh, yeah, right here, man. Uh, I mean, right here is where they drain the fluid from, from my lungs. <laughs> and you look bad. <laughs> You sure you're well enough to go on stage with us? Ah, oh, are you kidding me, man? My doctor said I have at least one good performance left in me. Or maybe two. It depends on where your tour is headed. Are you sure about that, man? Because you know our choreography is pretty tight. Oh, oh really? Uh, look, look, something like this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, man, I don't know, man. I mean, we don't...
don't have to talk about this shit. Come on. Come on. Come on. Moan. Flex. Moan. What? We talked about it again. Since Ralph missed his flight, we figured you'd make a nice addition to the new addition. Yeah. <laughs> hold, hold on, man. But I got one request. You, you got to change, man, because you stink. <laughs> what? He stinks. It, is that a part of the disease? Yo, man, do we grab the wrong keys or what? It's not working. No! Funny thing, my key didn't work in the lock, so I had the apartment manager install a new one. Oh, that's, that's funny. <laughs> Isn't that funny, Butter? Not that funny, dude. <laughs> Look, Arnez, I know you changed the locks. We ran into Charlie letting herself in with her new key. Well, well sorry I gave you the whole change of the key idea, dude. <laughs> I had nothing to do with any of this. Arnaz, if you don't want me to have your key, you could have just asked for it back. Yeah, right, Brianna. Like, that would have gone over well. Are you saying I'd be jealous? Listen, Arnaz, I can accept the fact that you don't want me to have a key to your apartment, but it's a little hard not to be jealous when Charlie gets a key and I don't. I told you, Brianna, Charlie needs to have a key for bad business. Well, I'm your business. I'm your girlfriend. Exactly. And whenever you're here, I'm here. So what do you need a key for? I don't know. Because Charlie has one. <laughs> if having a key is that important to you, then you have to respect Butters and my privacy. Okay, fair enough. But don't just give out your key to another woman and not tell me. Done. Look, it's just a stupid key, Brianna. And you have the one thing Charlie will never have. My heart. Mm. You know what, Harness, you're right. And to show you I'm past this whole key thing, I'm gonna give you your key back. Here. <laughs> Who are you fooling? I know you made a copy. You're right. <laughs> now where did I put that? Amazing flex. Oh, my first groupie. <laughs> Do you hear that? They're calling my name. Yo, flex, man. Come on. It's an encore, baby. Come on. I, I, okay. I, I. So, before I do my encore, why are you so concerned with me getting over now? Oh, I. Um... Hey, flex. They're calling for Ralph, man. So, yeah, come on. All right, all right man. So, uh, you were saying? I was just, I just want what's best for us. Mm. Uh, I, I mean, all of us. 
you know, clients and therapists alike. Mm -hmm. Now I need you to carry your weight. This is supposed to be a partnership. Well, a true partner would help clean up. Those aren't my toenail clippings. <laughs> Yo, you might want to see a foot doctor. Yo, you might want to see yourself out. <laughs> Look, Bree, I would help you clean, but I have to cover this game. I'm tracking another hot story. Ooh, can you bring some hot dogs back? <laughs> okay, now you really got to go. Come on, come on. Oh, thanks, dog. <laughs> Player. <laughs> Guess where I just came from? Rapper school? <laughs> no. I just had a meeting with Big Sal. You were looking at the man who was going to write the radio jingle for Big Sal's used car commercial. Ooh. That still doesn't explain why you're dressed like a gangster smurf. <laughs> I got a little advance in pay. The music business can be very lucrative. More money, no problems. I do wop it up, beat it at da. Yes, yes, yo! Well, you don't know anything about music. Yeah, I know, man. But I lied to Big Sal because I wanted a little extra money in this jacket. I mean, check it out, dog. Chinchilla. OK, so what's the big blue Eminem going to do now? Uh, nothing. I'm going to have Arnez write it. <laughs> hey, uh, Arnez, hmm. you're a talented young musician. How would you like to write a jingle? Uh, one catch, there's not much money in it. Oh, no problem. I'll just take that jacket. All right, no problem. Here you go. <laughs> it's not really Chinchilla. <laughs> Sometimes in this life you can feel all by yourself. Check one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't trust no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. I'll be there. What's it look like? Are we winning? Hey. Hey, what's Jack Crawford doing here? Well, let's see. This is Crawford Arena, which is next to the Crawford Shopping Mall, which is near the Crawford Museum. The more appropriate question is, why am I talking to you? <laughs> hey, Jack. Swimming with the press? I, I had a bet with Councilman Harris. <laughs> so, uh, you lost that bet, right? Third one I lost to Harris today. So I'm guessing something's on your mind. You're back to all your old bad habits, schmoozing city councilmen, uh, biting your nails, playing the ponies. How'd you know I was playing the ponies again? You help a jockey into his Hummer, he'll tell you anything. <laughs> <laughs> You're an ambitious young man, Flex. I've always liked that about you. So I'm going to give you the heads up. The city just agreed to share the cost with me of renovating this whole arena. Wow, that's, that's great. Do you mind if I put that on tonight's Flex Files? Well, sure, if you want half the story. By Friday, I'll also know which professional hockey team I'm bringing in. That's huge. Hockey in Baltimore? Ah, I'll wait for that story. <laughs> Man, if it isn't my next wife, Bill, who is that? Sheila Kerr. Sheila, 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 Sheila Kerr. Mm -hmm. She's the reporter who broke that big ephedrine scandal at Minnesota A&M. Mm -hmm. Why is she out here? Oh, she's with the Baltimore Examiner now. Oh, they threw a ton of money at her. Well, it's time to throw a ton of flex at her. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Hi, uh, Flex Washington, WYNX. Welcome to Baltimore. Uh -huh. Thank you. I've seen your show. You're good. You 
almost rise above the indolence of a typical TV reporter. <laughs> well, I haven't read you yet, but uh, I've been looking forward to words like indolence. It's a bit ostentatious, but I guess that's typical of a newspaper reporter. No offense, though. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe we got off on the wrong foot. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I yeah, think so. yeah. Why don't you go back over there and stay there? You don't want me to leave. You don't know what I want. You've wanted one thing since the moment our eyes met. Yeah, that moment back. <laughs> My car's outside. You sure think a lot of yourself, don't you? Until you, it was the only thing worth thinking about. No flex. I'm not really a first date kind of girl. Oh, we haven't had a date yet. Oh, good. Then my reputation saved. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Will you respect me in the morning? Uh, do you have a Pulitzer? Yeah, I got a box of them in my sock drawer. <laughs> so after I become the best night of your life, could we have dinner tomorrow night? Oh, I have to help my son study for an algebra test. Oh, no, no, no. My daughter's an algebra whiz. She can help him. Uh, <laughs> algebra? I'm bad. Yeah, but you're also an actress, so just act like you're good at algebra. But we had an agreement, partner. I don't set you up with my friend's moms, and I don't have to be buddy-buddy with your girlfriend's kids, especially dumb kids. He's not dumb. His mom says he's a sweet kid with a great personality. He sounds fat. <laughs> Fifteen bucks an hour. But tutoring something you know nothing about? Oh, good point. More work for me. Twenty. <laughs> Hey, hey Flex. Hey. This is my son, Eric. Hey, what's up, man? Whoa. Is that my soda? Yep, that's the algebra whiz. <laughs> okay, come on. We don't want to be late for our reservations. <laughs> what's up, shawty? Hey. <laughs> Look, if you have a laptop, my oh, mom got me the CD ROM for inner city kids. It's algebra for algebras. <laughs> that's if we get around to studying. <laughs> I'll go get my dad's laptop. Oh, and by the way, if you lay a hand on me, you'll find your fingers out you're broken. Okay. <laughs> There you are. I was tweezing my shoulders when a jingle just came to me. All right, how's this? Honk, honk. Who's there? A car. A car who? At Big Sal's. <laughs> Look, I'm the artist, and it's one of these like you that have turned today's jingles into the cookie cutter commercial garbage they are today. Hey, it is a commercial, silly Joel. And did you guys read the examiner? Real estate mogul Jack Crawford will renovate Crawford Arena to help lure a hockey team to Baltimore. This was my scoop and Sheila beat me to it, man. How did she do that? Oh, let's see. She's beautiful with a banging body and is a master manipulator, just like you. Look at you. She's got your nose wide open. Grounded. Oh, poor predictable daddy. He can never see around those soft, soft curves. Grounded, grounded, grounded. Oh, hey. I, you scooped me. Mm-hmm. I read the paper. So tell me, who's your source? Oh, no, 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 no. A good journalist never reveals her source. Ooh, you look good in the morning. I always look better after I work hard all night. <laughs> uh, I thought you were going to meet me at the stadium. Oh, yeah, but Eric got to be on his algebra test, oh. thanks to Brianna. So I was hoping we could get a little more one-on-one -on -one time. <laughs> Oh, look, you've, you've got some jelly right there. Oh, I, I, uh, ooh. Ooh. oh man. <laughs> uh, Brianna, uh, would you mind helping the jelly? <laughs> uh, I mean, the boy, the boy. <laughs> yeah, sure, I'll help him. Let's just hope he's graded on a curve, a dangerous curve. The kind of curve that we ah, have to get the curve. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> I seem to have a little something on my face. However, will I get it off? Like this. Oh. So, X equals two, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, go with that. <laughs> I think I'm getting this. Mind if I try to film my own? Yeah, go ahead. 
He's so cute. He's a freshman. So? And he's stupid. Even better, hook a sister up. <laughs> hey, look. I need to make a phone call. I'm gonna step outside. I'd like you to step into my world. <laughs> you think he has a girlfriend? He can't even spell girlfriend. Stop hating on my man. Well, let's go see who he's talking to. <laughs> Hey, Mom, it's me. Oh, hi, sis. <laughs> Is everything okay? I just read an email on Flex's laptop from Jack Crawford. He's bringing the owner of the new hockey team to the arena for a tour and to meet Flex. Mm. <laughs> Mom, that little... Wait till my daddy hears about this. My Romeo has no limits. It's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hey, Dad, Eric's not stupid. He's trying to... Baby, that's great, but I have to talk to you later. Woo! <laughs> oh, you a naughty girl. <laughs> uh, bye, baby. But, but, Daddy... Man, trying to warn my partner about the woman he's seeing, and he disses me. I bet you this is how Matt Damon felt. <laughs> Such a rough neck, but I could be the sandpaper scarf that he needs. Hey, look who's home early. Uh, yeah, she has got a headache. Maybe you should steal a couple of aspirin before you leave. <laughs> Good one, girl. <laughs> uh, so I'll call you tomorrow, see how you feel. Oh, baby, that's so sweet. But I'll call you. Rihanna, would you be comfortable with calling Sheila mommy? No, but I'll call her a cab, a moving van, or an ambulance. <laughs> Daddy, we need to talk. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not getting any more money just because you had a breakthrough with little sling blade. Daddy, while you were taking care of business, I was trying to call you and tell you that Eric stole your story off your laptop. What story? The one where you're going to the arena tomorrow morning to meet the owner of the new hockey team. How did you know about that? We heard my new boyfriend read your email over the phone to his mama. Ooh, that little, ow! Oh, that must be how she stole my story on the stadium renovation. FYI, I got a cousin in Philly who can make her disappear. If Sheila goes to the arena, she'll find out which hockey team is moving to Baltimore, which means she'll get it in the newspaper before I can get it on the air. Mm -hmm. Ooh, she's a low down. Ooh, she is hot. <laughs> she could be the one, baby. Daddy, wake up. That woman is bad news. She's bad to the bone, like a snake in the grass. Poison. Like Are you done? Trouble with a capital T. <laughs> so what you gonna do? You ever heard of the saying, you can't see the forest for the trees? Yeah, I never understood that. Me either. <laughs> but this is what we're gonna do. We need to get them over here first thing in the morning. Are you going to call her or nudge her? <laughs> Stay focused. Okay. Now, you're going to play the role that you were born to play. I need you to play crazy. Yeah, I can do that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes. Let's hear it, baby. When you need a car and your credit subpar, our prices are the best. You can put us to the test. Big styles. Big sounds. Se habla espanol. It's genius. <laughs> it's catchy. It's original. Uh, you have a gift, son, and we are going to give that gift to the world. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Dwayne. Hey, I'm going to get the sound of Big Sal right away. Oh, boy. <laughs> Who was that? Nobody. I had faith in you all along. <laughs> Is Rihanna okay? Hi! Hi. I, I'm sorry. She locked herself in the room and, and just started screaming, I love you, Eric. So I figured seeing him would be just what she needed. Look, I made flashcards and they're in the shape of hearts because I cut them and I cut them some okay, more. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. You cut out enough hearts for one day, baby. Let's, let's give them some alone time together. Oh, no, no, oh, no, no, I please. please. No, no. She's very unstable mm -hmm. right now. Uh, you two have fun, okay? Go, 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 oh, go, 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 go. Right. Come on, come on. Come on. 
You're not gonna break my hearts, are you? <laughs> Candy is gonna love this. Oh, Betty? Yeah, let me help you. Yeah, uh, one minute. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, coming. <laughs> hey, the one. Bad time? <laughs> yeah, I came for my money. But I told you, there is no money in this. Nice bike, the one. <laughs> yeah, let me get you a 20. We'll be right back. When you're in the mood for some spicy food and it's Mexican you crave, then we're all the rave. Jack's Mexican Grill. Jack's Mexican Grill. Se habla inglés. Hey, Arnett. That's the same jingle I just bought from you. Oh, and he took my 20. Boy! You better get back here! So this is an unusual place for a date. Oh, come on now. Doesn't the smell of stale popcorn and rotting hot dogs and a feel of a sticky cement floor make you feel sexy? And a little hungry. Oh. <laughs> I bet they didn't have a presentation like this for you in Kalamazoo. <laughs> uh -huh. Flex, glad you can make it. Uh, I want you to meet Mr. Alex Bellino with the... Uh, Milwaukee Blades. Uh, of course. Nice to meet you, Alex. This is uh, Sheila Kerr of the uh, Baltimore Examiner. Hello, Hello. Sheila. Uh, Hi. Uh, listen, we're taking a tour of the arena. I'm showing Alex some of the changes we're going to make. Uh, why don't you come along? Uh, and you too, Sheila. Oh, no, 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 I can't. Uh, we'd I love to. Let's go, guys. All right. <laughs> what are you up to, Flex? When I'm with you, no good. <laughs> so, you have a little thing for me, huh? Don't worry, you aren't the first baby bitten by the E-man's joint. <laughs> Listen, E-boy, besides being too young, you're a little too shady for me. What are you talking about? What about the heart-shaped flash cards? They're bad in eyelashes. I got pink eye. But my good eye has been on you. We know you've been stealing stories from my dad's laptop, so we set you up with a phony email. The hockey team? Yep, right now my daddy's introducing your mom to the wrong hockey team owner, and she'll end up printing a bogus story about which team is moving here. She'll be the laughing stock of Baltimore. Uh-huh. Me and my daddy played you and your jelly-licking mama. <laughs> uh-uh. Don't even bother. I lifted her cell phone out of her purse. <laughs> That's right. It's going down right now, and you can't do nothing to stop it. <laughs> you are an evil little girl. <laughs> we could do some crazy things, you and me. <laughs> I'll pass. Excuse me while I go to the ladies' room. Oh, and don't do nothing stupid while I'm gone. Are you trout for taking the bait? <laughs> well, Mr. Bellino, it was a pleasure meeting you, and I'm sure I speak for Baltimore when I say we look forward to having the Blades move here. Absolutely. Flex, uh, we'll talk later and let you two get back to your investigative reporting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Where were we? Hmm? What's going on, Flex? I thought I was being obvious. Now am I being clear? <laughs> Wait a minute. I know that you're hot for me. But you're not that hot for me. You just handed me a great story right on a silver platter. Well, uh, actually, it was more like Formica. You knew I stole your last story. So you're trying to set me up with this one, get me to print the wrong story. I gotta get it pretty early to fool you. But then that would mean that Crawford and Bellino are in on it, and they're too busy to be meddling around with a couple of rival reporters. Once again, you are too smart for me. So then this is the story, and the Blades are moving to Baltimore, and you're just trying to psych me out. You're like a bald sheep. I can't pull the wool over your eyes. <laughs> Mom! Mom! What, what are you doing here, Eric? It's a setup, Mom. Only man isn't the owner that's moving. Brianna told me every day. Eric, wait! You're too late. She already knows. You got cocky, little mama. Amateurs always get cocky. <laughs> it's okay, baby. We tried. Well, you almost had me print that bogus story, Washington. You're good. But my seed trumped your seed. Let's go, Eric. It's okay. It's all right, baby. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> 
We gotta shoot and score. <laughs> that plan worked perfectly. I know, we gotta think the story's fake. Now the scoop is all yours, Daddy. And yep, I knew she would believe her kid over her own instincts. Really, how? Because she trusted her partner. Something I should have done in the first place. So welcome to Baltimore, Blades. I'm Flex Washington, and remember, you heard it here first. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> And in basketball, Philadelphia beat Washington in the high school scoring Eastern Conference matchup. What are you doing here, Lois Lane? I came to apologize. Yeah, you can apologize all you want to, and it's still not going to make a difference to me because I just. I forgive you. No internet, no television, no telephone. I don't even want to hear you telling it on the mountain, girl. You are grounded. To help our nest, he was having a family crisis. Yeah, and you had a boy in your room and you didn't tell me. Oh, hey guys, come on in. Uh, what is this? What, Daddy? I can't help it if the mountain came to me. <laughs> Mountains or boulders? Our nest, all you're showing off is giving me a headache. Then maybe you should take an aspirin and wash it down with a six pack. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry, guys. Look, I can't laugh or talk, but I could look if you want to, you know, pull up your shirt again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? By the way, I forgot. No flirting. You granted for two weeks. Two weeks? I don't have any other friends. You're punishing me, too. Well, I'm sure you have done something to deserve it. Your clothes, for example. <laughs> yes, Britt. Maybe you should pack out your clothes more carefully. <laughs> Boy, I've been working on the muscle, too. It's my foot muscle. Now get out. Punishment. I should call child services. Oh, you could if you could use the phone. Now go to your room. <laughs> Hello? What? I do not want to hang out and braid each other's hair. What part of Northern Friends don't you understand? <laughs> Sometimes in the start, you can feel all by yourself. But I can't turn no one in. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I'll be there to think and then. What a true love we are found. Maybe you can get to the one. Maybe one, 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 uh -huh. one. Yeah. Can't nobody break this bond. Yeah. Maybe one, 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 and that concludes our tour of the barber shop. Don't feed the barbers, because they might try to follow you home. <laughs> and if the barbers don't follow you home, then the rats will. Candy, we do not have rats. Oh, yeah. We don't have roaches, either. Uh, don't listen to her, Mr. Adams. Uh, all the fumes from her nail polish sometimes make her delusional. She even think that's her real hair. <laughs> anyway, my client is very wealthy. Now, he'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Now, he wants to finalize this deal in 24 hours, so you'll be hearing from him. All right. <laughs> Candy, why are you trying to sabotage this deal? Well, you know what, Flex? I can't help it. You know, I don't want to lose the barbershop. <coughs> hey, Walt. Yeah. Walt, you, you OK? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, uh, you know, without the shop, I don't know where to hold my weekly poker game. Did my dad know about that? <laughs> Did I say poker? <laughs> Man, I meant Monopoly. <laughs> I know the universe has a grand plan for all of us. But until it reveals itself, what are we gonna do? <laughs> hey, hey, look, don't, don't worry. You guys are talented, hard-working barbers. Well, thank you. That's yeah. a point there, bro. You find other jobs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey! Okay. <laughs> Whose classic 63 Porsche is that parked out front? <laughs> oh, my bad, that's mine. <laughs> I don't know you like that, bro. Oh, my bad. It's my little brother, Kev. Kev, that's Ace and that's Manny. They're new here. But I'm from America. I sing God Bless America right now. Dios bendiga mi America. Come on, come on.
Yo, man, you be tripping, man. What are you doing here? I thought you were on the uh, Monsters of Rap tour cutting hair with Hypnotic the Exotic. <laughs> well, I was, but I ran into Miles and Pops in Atlantic City. They were in line to see Stu Ross. Lou Ross, brother, the magician. Oh, all right. Anyway, Pops told me you were selling the shop. I'm here to take it off your hands. Oh, if you take over the shop, did you tell Dad that? Well, I told him, and he said no, but Dad is getting old anyway. We should put him in a home. <laughs> hey, now, listen, I have to do what Pops tells me to do. But Flex, I'm family. Oh, now we family. Three years ago, we were the people standing in the way of your success. You remember that? <laughs> Y'all are the people standing in the way of my success. <laughs> now I'm out of here. I got a chance to go on tour with Cisco. With the kind of heat he got, I may never be back. <laughs> Thanks, you're exaggerating, man. You got more stories than the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Y'all know I've been there. I got some keychains. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> for sure. Hey, you. yo, Kev, you must be uh, in town for the new Hypnotic concert, right? All right, well, I'm gonna need two tickets for me and my girl and two tickets to Scout. Oh, you don't have a girl, baby. <laughs> what you think I need the scalping money for? I'll take two tickets, because those hot dogs at the stadium are delightful. <laughs> Look, look, I'm retired, man. Life is too short to be away from loved ones. I want to be somewhere where people care, you know? A place where everybody knows your hair. Oh, nice. I'm, not, I'm not even buying it, man. It's just like you to come and want to take over the shop when it's convenient for you. Flex, man, you can't sell the barbershop. It's in the family. That's what we've been trying to tell him, that this is not just a business. This is our home. Our job. Our exercise. Our work release program. <laughs> I can't believe you're not gonna sell me the barbershop. It's my birthright. Well, I was born before you, which means I have the right to do whatever I want. <laughs> Man, Daddy, I can't believe you sent Dwayne to escort me home from school to keep me from hanging out with my friends. Uncle Kevin! My little ah! Brucey, Brucey. <laughs> Is your daddy treating you okay? He grounded me, Uncle Kevin. Can I come live with you? Oh, sure, you want to go live with Uncle Kevin? I'll take you in myself. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, we're here. And Spirit, why are you here? I didn't come with her. I came over here with Dwayne. Nobody said I couldn't be his friend. All right, Spirit, you have overstayed your welcome. Why don't you go make some earrings out of fish hooks or something? What's up, Lil D? Oh, uh, did you say something, Flex? Or was that the ghost of bad haircuts past? <laughs> uh, come on, Dwayne. I was 10 years old. I was just starting to cut heads. Because of you, I became a master barber. And because I was the guinea pig in your experiment, I have to wear a hat to this day. <laughs> Go on, Dwayne Sean. Ma no. <laughs> come on. Does it still swell up in the rain? <laughs> That's for following me home. What? <laughs> Idiots! <laughs> oh, right there. oh, it's nice to see you guys laugh for a change. <sighs> Look, Flex, I want that barbershop. Now, I'm your baby brother. I know what Pop said, but at least give me a chance to buy it. Kev, yeah, man, I, I have a buyer who wants to close by noon tomorrow. I can match his offer. Kev, okay, this is like the time you wanted me to co-sign with your credit card. Man, you maxed out on one purchase. A three-finger gold nugget ring, Kevin. Wh wh where's the ring? Where's the ring? I mean, it, it got played out, so I melted it down to some gold fronts. Kev, you are too impulsive. You don't think things through. I mean, you're always changing your mind. And when something better comes along, you, you, you're gone without thinking about how it affects other people. Look, I'm older now, Flex. Now, give me a chance. When did you become so hard? Look at me, brother to brother. I want to do this. All right, I'm gonna give you a chance to come up with the money by noon tomorrow like you said you could. If not, I'm selling the shop. Don't let me down, brother. All right, deal. All right. All right. <laughs> 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 you don't want none. You don't want none. They're gonna build a space station on the moon. Then they're gonna launch from there to Mars. Oh, man, a brother can make a fresh start on Mars. Sam, open up a little casino. <laughs> Bet you them dice roll real right in zero gravity. Well, I'm staying right here. Have we black folks learned nothing from getting on ships and not knowing where they're going? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention, please? <laughs> now, before y'all go pat me on my back and everything, I, I want y'all to know I bruise easy. Oh. Ah. <laughs> what you talking about, Kev? I'm talking about us, behind the barbershop together. It's co-owners. 
question is, how much do y'all have to invest? <laughs> well, let me check my portfolio. Mm. I'm going to go and put it back and let it collect some more interest. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry about it, Candy. We can just take out a small business loan. And don't worry about all the closing fees, because I got that. Just run through even. a little small credit check, and we in. We're yeah. out. <laughs> I don't worry about it. I'll come up with another way. Hello, all September. Hi, baby. Mm, hello, my little Swiss miss. Mm. <laughs> Swiss miss. That's right. I'm his tall, high cup of cocoa. Mm -hmm. And she's my Yoda lady boo. <laughs> Candy is your girl? Baltimore needs me back. Matt, Baltimore needs you back like I need another hole in my head. Look, I don't have time to be trading insults with a used car salesman. When I can be doing business with a used car salesman. Dwayne, are you getting taller? A little. <laughs> Excuse me, Candy. Now, how would you like your pockets to get fat? Now, I'm looking to sell my Porsche. I heard you just a man to do it. Well, I should be able to get you a fair and reasonable market price for your vehicle. <laughs> Man, where is he? Mr. Washington, I believe this is a fair offer on your establishment. Whoa, that's, that's a very generous offer, Mr. Adams, but uh, we need a little more time. See, there's another interested party, and uh, he happens to be family. Oh, uh, I see. Uh, did I mention the buyer has a family-owned business? So they understand the importance of family. And so do the people down at the Lord Hair Mercy Beauty Salon. <laughs> What am I doing? I mean, he's already an hour late. See, this, this is the three-finger ring all over again. Listen, Flex, if family means that much to you, just give Kevin a little bit more time, please. I don't know Kevin that well. In fact, not at all. But, but I trust him. I don't think he's gonna let us down. But then again, I get hurt a lot. <laughs> okay, now I see what's going on. You're stalling. I tell you what, I am authorized to go up another 10%. I'm sorry, guys. He should have been here an hour ago. Mr. Adams, you have yourself a deal. Yeah, you're doing the right thing. Good news, Flex. I got the... No! <laughs> Flex, please. Please don't tell me you just did what I think you did. Hey, Kev, I said noon, but I didn't hear from you. I was trying to get the money together, but I have it now. It's too late. Deal is signed. Flex, how could you do this to me? Hey, you knew what time you had to be here. It's not my fault. I can't stand here causing a rift between two brothers. So I'll just leave. Good day. <laughs> Flex, I sold my porch to get the down payment. Why didn't you wait for me? No offense, Kev, but you don't have the best track record. Look, man, I sold the shop for five times what it's worth. Mom and Dad would never, ever have to worry about having enough money again. Thanks for your support. I gotta go for a walk now, because I don't have a ride. <laughs> so what's going to happen now? I don't know. Hey, yo, I wonder if we can win the shot back in a high-stakes poker game. Don't you mean Monopoly game? You don't own this place no more. <laughs> poker, poker, poker. <laughs> <laughs> in a forest and no daddy is around. Is it really on? Huh? <laughs> Just turn me on! Okay. Oh, hey, daddy. Just doing a little dusting. Ah, uh, uh, still cold. That's my baby. <laughs> hey, Brianna. Want to go for a ride in my Porsche? You know the one I bought back from Dwayne for an extra $500 I had your car for 15 minutes feet? <laughs> Okay, can I, Daddy? Could you tell your uncle it's not my fault that he was too late and that's why I had to sell the shop? <laughs> oh, so you think you got it all together, don't you, Flex? Well, if you did, you wouldn't have had to sell the shop in the first place and you could have run it and kept it in the family. Selling the shop was not only a good family decision, but it was a good business decision. Oh, since when did Flex, the TV jock, become such a savvy businessman? Oh, I get it. You, you, you're jealous. You're jealous. <laughs> but 
because I'm a popular, handsome, local celebrity who's about to go national. And you just a portable barber who was out cutting Cisco the dragon's hair, but he turned into a lizard. <laughs> I'm so glad to see that you two are talking to each other now. Oh, group hug. <laughs> okay, well, I'll just go to the room then. Me? Jealous of you? What do I have to be jealous of? Your lame sign off? I mean, am I the only one that knows Flat App is just the name of your pet frog? <laughs> and by the way, I'm the one that set him free. Flat App. <laughs> Leaving, huh? I'm going to the home with Grandma Barnes. It's Jello Cup night. <laughs> Kev, I know you're upset about what happened, man, but but come on, you didn't really want to run a barber shop. It's not you. Next thing you know, you'll be quitting and heading back out on the road. I don't know about all that. Oh, why do you say that? Well, I mean, no artist is gonna want to hire me after they find out why Hypnotic fired me. Well, have you were fired? Actually, it was suggested at gunpoint that I take a leave of absence. Cap, yeah, what did you do? Nothing. I just cut his ear. You cut his ear? It was the tip of it. I mean, you don't even need that part. I mean, his girl had a little thing for me, and I tried to brush it off, but, I mean, you know how things is with me and you. Yeah. Now, look at me. Imagine me three weeks ago. <laughs> You <laughs> should have seen me three weeks ago, you know what I'm saying? It's just... My bad, it's your story. <laughs> anyway, while I was tightening Hypnotic up, his girlfriend Shantae brushed all that up against me suggestively. Things just went bad from there. Because of that, Hypnotic won't pay me my 20 G's he owed me for the last two months. 20 G's? Yeah, that's why I was counting on a barbershop. I know Hypnotic is dogging me to all the other rappers. Till that all dies down, I don't got nowhere to go. Sure you do, man. And you can always come home. And you got your 20 G's because the Barnes brothers, we gonna get your money. Me and you? That's right. I mean, Hypnotic is a businessman. I'm sure once we lay things out for him, he'll see things our way. <sighs> These rappers ain't the Sugar Hill Gang Flex. <laughs> Hypnotic and his boys is dangerous. Huh? I mean, they will beat you down. They, they tough. They... Maybe we should do some push-ups before we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let, let's pray on it, too. Let's... <laughs> uh... Well, if it ain't Jack the Clipper, what you want? Uh, hello, Mr. Hypnotic. How you doing, bruh? <laughs> I'm uh, Kevin's big brother. You might recognize me. I'm uh, Baltimore's number one sportscaster. Flex, l let me let me handle this. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> we come to talk about the money you owe. Well then, by all means, entree. <laughs> hey, Kevin. What's up, Shantae? Keeping your brother's money. I know he told you what he did to me. Did he check my ear for what? Mm -hmm. Oh, man, he said he just nicked the tip of your ear. I'm sure it's healed by now. And plus, me cutting your ear gave you your look. I mean, look, everybody rocking the bandana. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> yeah. so, so if you just cut my brother a check, man, we'll get out of your hair. I am unamused by your facetious banner. Yeah, I said facetious. What? <laughs> Hypnotic, look, Kevin cutting your ear was an accident. And it's not his fault your girl was pushing up on him. She was doing what? You was pushing up on him, Shantae? Baby, I'm sorry. I'll forgive you, baby. Go give me some groupers. <laughs> so you was messing around with my girl, too, huh? Check this out, homie. We can handle this like gentlemen, or we can get straight gangster with it. I vote for gentlemen. <laughs> gentlemen, 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 gentlemen. <laughs> Like the punk I thought you were. Uh, uh, hold up, you just called my little brother a punk? 
Oh, we can get gangster, man. We can, we can go there. We can go there. Look, I'm not a gangster. I'm a grown man. I don't need you, hypnotic. I don't need this job. All I need is two things. My pride and a chain to make up for the money you owe me. What chain? That one do just fine. Run! <laughs> I'm gonna miss this place, guys. Yeah. Hey, y'all, am I wrong to assume that if anything turns up missing flex, you use it as a tax write-off? <laughs> hey, what are y'all doing? <laughs> what you mean, what am I doing? I'm not stealing nothing if that's what you imply. <laughs> well, that wouldn't be a good idea. I don't think your new manager would like it. No, I wouldn't. Huh? <laughs> well, my big brother hooked it up with Mr. Adams this morning. The new owner agreed to keep me on as transitional manager for a year. And I get to pick my own staff. Now, I know some people. Oh! oh. <laughs> now, y'all get back to work. Yeah. 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 I said, where y'all going? Y'all got work to do. Oh, it's lunchtime. Oh, you got so much to learn. But don't worry, Candy can teach you. <laughs> <laughs> well, little brother, this is what you wanted. Yeah. Feels good to be home. <laughs>